Hi, this is Captain Mike. You ever woke up in the morning and the first thing you did was bite the dog because he was snuggling too close? Then you slide out of the bed and you step on the cat. She'd been trying to get you up for about an hour. You one rambled into the bathroom and uh, the toothpaste you put on your brush wasn't toothpaste. I mean, the toothbrush wasn't even yours. Well, you make it into the kitchen. You get to that old uh, fancy Krueig coffee maker, whatever you call the darn thing. You turn it on. You didn't put the coffee cup under it. Well, that's kind of the way it goes sometimes. You finally make it up to the shop. And... Uh, you sit down with a cup of coffee that you finally got successfully made, and you look out and wish you'd put the uh, feed in the bird feeder yesterday afternoon. It's kind of one of those days. But you get your coffee down, and you get up, and about that time the phone rings. And it's Bubba. Bubba's kind of in a fix. It's um, Linda Sue's birthday. And he has forgot to get her something. And he needs one of these special necklaces that I make, like right now. And he's got to, I got to make it a certain way, certain color, that of course I don't have. So what do you do? Well, tell you what you do. You ramble around and you find yourself some of these things. They call this one a gallery frame pendant. They call this one kind of, I think, a pebble bead pendant. And I know these things can be bought all over the place. I did a little online research, and Delphi's got them, Sunshine Glassworks got them, uh, Amazon's got them, and Artfill has got them. I got these from Artfill. Uh, but they're pretty neat little things once you get right down to it. Until old Bubba put me in a bind, I didn't think much about it. You know, I got about four, five, six hundred fused pendants, but nope, that wouldn't do. He had to have one of these he'd seen somewhere. So, I got busy on it. Now, the great thing about these are, you don't have to uh, fire up the kiln if you don't want to. Now, just for the sake of this thing right here, this video right here, you know, I scramble through all my scrap dichroic, this is only a portion of it, and uh, some of my opaque glass and translucent glass, and I put them on a, my little microwave kiln, and I zapped them for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, whatever it takes. You kind of have to watch them, and uh, you'll end up with all kinds of nice little beads. Now, you have to really work hard to control the size. I don't. I just nip them off my nippers, drop them on there, whatever size they come out, and I'll let fate be the judge. You know, here's a, another bunch of them. This, this is some of the, uh, this is some of the uh, tempered glass beads. They make real nice little beads. And this is just some different size. And uh, these are a little big for the uh, pebble ones, but it gives you an idea what you can do. I just make these things when I get bored. And then whenever I need them, I go through and I sort them out by size as I need them. So that's what you can do with those. But hey, I digress. Uh, if you don't want to fire anything, this little jewel right here is about eight millimeters, okay? So if you take two millimeters, I mean six millimeters of glass, which is what most of us have most of the time, and you slide it in there, you can do that. See, that's pink on uh, some dichro, and it really looks nice. It's a little bit loose. But what you do is you slide you some uh, uh, cardboard or something in there that will, uh, you know, take up the space. This thing also comes apart. It's got a little tray. And you can also uh, put it in that way. You might even, if it's not going to be changed out, it's going to be permanent. You can put a little tiny drop of E6000 or something in there and it'll hold it in place. Uh, pop this sucker back together again. Well, fumble fingers can't do it, but uh, yeah, you get this thing back together some sort of way, and uh, there you go. 
that's that's one way of doing it. Uh, and of course, the variations are endless. Piece of uh, fused glass, you know, you slide her in there. You know, same thing. You can do it that way with fused glass. You can do it with, uh, hey, I even got one. I hadn't fired this, but it's got a little kitty cat on it. You can put uh, all kinds of, uh, of uh, decals and stuff on them. I mean, you know, the sky is the limit. Uh, if you take and you want it to fit really firm, here I have a piece of green glass uh, with a little shiny stuff on it, rainbow effect. Piece of clear uh, three millimeter and a piece of clear two millimeter. And it just so happens it works. It will, uh, you know, it fills it up exactly right. There you go, Mikey done it. How about that? Okay, so you know if you slide all this in there, that comes out to exactly eight millimeters. It's nice and tight. And again, if you want to put a little glue or something to keep it, you can. But it does bring it right up to the edge. And uh, you know you can. That's a piece of, uh, of a quarter inch uh, float glass. You know how I have a float glass. You can even put a mirror in there if you want to. And uh, pretty much that. That does it on them, on them, on them rim windows frames. And there's one I had planned. You know, I just took a piece of uh, three millimeter and piled a whole bunch of dichroic on it. I'm gonna cook it in a little while. Probably won't get it into this video. But you know, you cook it, you trim it. And the great thing about it is, you don't have to have any special tools. If you got a microwave kiln, that's fine. If you don't, then, you know, take, take your whatever it takes like that and, and trim it with your with your nippers until she'll slide a bit in because you have ample space right here to hide all your little boo-boos. If you've got a, a lap grinder or a, a, one of those diamond grinders, that's even great, you can smooth it up, but you don't have to have one. You can do it with nothing but the gallery frame and a pair of nippers and your scrap. So that's that. The next thing here is this little great thing here. Now you can use these to make pendants you can use them to make bracelets. Uh, you know, there's any number of things. I only know that you can make, them, make bracelets out of them because I went to Susan McGarry's website when I was trying to find out information on these things. And I saw the little bracelet thing she's on her website. But here's what you do. You take all those little bitty little swell things that you just made right there and you make, you glue them in. Now, I don't know what this is made out of, but I've got, I got an idea that you're not going to be able to fire them, so I wouldn't try. But you can glue those little things in, and they're pretty. You can make them out of dichro. That's one dichro one there, and there's a dichro one in this other one. But uh, they work out really, really, really good. And pretty much that's it. You can just have at this thing without a very little bit of equipment. And you can tie ribbons on them and all kinds of stuff and make necklaces, give them away. Uh, and that's really about all there is to tell. They are so, so simple. And as I mentioned, I did a, just a little bit of research. Delphi has them. Sunshine Glassworks has them. Amazon has them. Now, I got mine from Susan McGarry on Artfield. Uh, just if you want some information, go look on her site. If the prices are great, service is great, I know that, uh, then you can get them from whoever you want to get them from. Uh, but, you know, do your research and, um, you know, get these things. See, they, they're really great. I don't know about everybody else. There's three in this pack and one in this pack. Like I said, do your research. Okay, that's about all I've got to say about uh, all these really swell, nice little pendants here. Bubba was happy. And, uh, you know, so was Linda Sue. She was just tickled to death, I guess. Cat got over it. Dog got over it. And now I hopefully we'll remember to put the coffee cup in the coffee maker. Okay, this is Captain Mike. We out of here.